because I always had children at home. They were my everything, so if they needed something, not that they would ask me for anything, but I felt responsible. I had to be home to cook dinner, make sure the washing was done. And the youngest son used to say, Mum, I can do this. The other two had left and they're going, he'll never leave home, Mum, if you keep doing that. And one day all of a sudden he just said, I'm leaving next week. And I'm like, he'll leave me, but who's going to need me now? And luckily I did have my work. I feel those people need me in a different sense. But I need me too. And that's took, it's taken me probably the last three months to discover that. I need me. I need me to be happy. And I come home now and I go, oh, this is my home. This is, this is me. And I actually like it for the first time in a long time. I can't wait to get home. I'm going to my little room that I've created just for me. It's lovely. I changed the colours. I changed it because it was a home before for the children. Now it's my home, so I've thrown lots of beautiful pastels through the house in white and just made it, yeah, I love it. I was fearful living by myself, being lonely and thinking that that was the end of my life. My children have their lives and who's for me? And then I thought, I don't need anybody, but I do need friends. I do my trivia nights with people that I met on a Facebook page and they've become some of my best friends. And I'm part of their families. So like, it's really lovely. Like at Christmas, they'll have a Christmas breakfast or something and I'll go around and spend time with them all. And we all get together, so it's, it's like a little community of a family as well. And I wouldn't have done that had I not had that confidence to think, I don't care what everyone else says, I can do it. I don't need to be fearful of what's out there, it's, it's not that bad. And I have get-togethers at my house and bring them all together and go, wow, I never thought that you would be with those people. Like, Why would you say that? They're not any different, the human, the beautiful people. And I suppose that's empathy we should all have. <clears throat> you might look different, you might speak differently, you might have a different colour skin. You're still a beautiful person inside and you just got to show it. Self-love is very important. I do a lot of things that are for me. Um, I make sure I have a massage at least once a month. I have a facial every month. I have my nails done every few weeks. Um, I just think about something that's important to me that other people think I'm being naive or vain, whatever, you know. No, I'm not. I enjoy it. And I'm allowed to enjoy it. I've got three children with no money and to come to this part that I can do these things for myself is just, I deserve that. I deserve it.